Alright guys, and we're back. It's the first 40k game of 2018, and it's, it's going to be a horrible one. It's going to be bloody. Uh, today we're playing 500 points, uh, retrieval mission, uh, search and destroy. It's the deployment type. Uh, I got orcs. My friend has got tyranids. Uh, lots of them, 500 points. I got a fair bit myself. So we're going to take a look at the board and then armies. Okay, as the mission is retrieval, we've put down four objectives one, two, three, and number four is buried the black token underneath the uh, termigants. And I gotta say, these are beautifully painted. Apparently, these are not armies on parade standard, but I gotta disagree. Because these are bloody beautiful. Tyranids, we've got 20 uh, termigants, five with devourers, I think, off the top of my head, or something like that. We've got some xenothopes there, uh, warriors with bone swords and some horrible gun. I'm not completely familiar with Tyranids. It is sorry. Yeah. And then we've got a Tyranid uh, Prime at the back with something horrible as a gun and bone swords. I had a very, very quick gander at the list because I don't know Tyranids that well. Last time I played them was about 10 years ago. That comes to 500 points. The Tyranid Prime is the Warlord, so yay. Over here for the many, many Orcs. Up on top we have fly five flash kits uh, with a ammo run. One of my patrons wanted to be in this game, uh, so I was like, yeah, sure, why not? So he is this guy, Captain Gorka. Not, the, not my name choice. Storm Boys, seven of them. Choppers, Power Claw. Uh, I'll be leading that squad. 30 boys with uh, choppers, uh, sluggers, boss knob is there, he has a power claw and a slugger, because reasons, and then one of the other patrons want, also wants to be in this game, so war boss, bike, shooter, uh, attack squig, power claw, warlord, trait is m m might is right, for plus one strength, so that power claw is going to be strength 14. So, should be wounding them horrible bugs on twos. And uh, Tyranids are going first. Orcs picked up first turn, but the Tyranids seized the initiative right at the last minute. So, arguably, probably going to be working in my favour, but we'll see what happens. So, on to the end of uh, Tyranids turn or movement turn one. Okay, so Tyranids uh, turn one was fairly eventful, considering we are far apart. Uh, everyone kind of shuffled around a little bit over here. The warriors moved up to the hole in the wall. The prime uh, moved to the back of them. The zonotropes advanced five and moved up to ten inches. One's there. The other guys are floating there. The termagants moved six and haven't uh, been able to see anything yet. <coughs> uh, psychic phase was kind of interesting. Uh, the Zonothopes cast Smite and killed the ammo runt for the flash kits. Uh, the warriors took a wound off this guy, so and that was it. Uh, so yeah, onto Orcs turn one. Okay, end of turn one for Orcs. Uh, boys advanced, boss moved normally, Storm Boys advanced, they didn't shoot. He's out of range of the Zonothropes. <coughs> The flash kits uh, shot at the zone folks, uh, gripped off one wound, even with Daka Daka Daka. Uh, didn't really do much, but with a three plus invulnerable save on them. The zone folks, it's not really surprising. Next turn we're going to see some horrible combat, so yay. On to Tyranid's turn two. Uh, end of Tyranid turn two. Um, things that died. The flash kits. Uh, he died from the termigants. Uh, then pair died from the warriors. These two ran away. Uh, they were ten inches away from the war boss because they were up here. And I can't claim mob rule because it has to be within six of another friendly unit, which would have been the boss. So yay. Storm boys got ripped apart by the termigants. So I'm dead and Captain Gorka is now dead. 
Um, the Zoanthropes tossed off a mortal wound onto the uh, Storm Boys as well. The Warriors, well, some of the Warriors that didn't see the Flash Gits killed two guys off the boys, so yay. Um, Orc turn three will be seeing combat, one way or another, there will be some combat. So, yay. Okay, so end of Orc turn three, two rather, on to turn three. Um, but Warboss, Denny moved up to support the boys. The boys advanced from about there to there. Uh, shooting wise, Denny shot the crap out of the Zonothropes. Uh, didn't cause any wounds. So, nothing too impressive there from Hawks. Uh, charges was the boys got him with an 11. Denny didn't on his war bike. Uh, 40 attacks from the boys um, and then there's three from the boss top with his power claw end up um, killing one of the uh, xenotypes with the two wounds outright with the power claw the choppers finished off the rest uh, that, that was remaining except there's one guy with one wound left green's piloting takes it to that so um, I've got to try and kill some more bugs quite quickly other than that, uh, I don't know. I don't really know. Uh, I can see the terminants. Terminants. The termagants are going to claim that. The tyranny prime is going to sit. Should theoretically sit there and claim that objective. And then the warriors should just slam in, finish off the boys, and then one of the zone can just float out. Just fly. I don't know. But we're back for the end of turn three for Tyranids. Okay, end of Tyranids turn three. Uh, you will see there is no Warlord anymore. And that's because the Termigrants uh, shot the living crap out of the war boss. Uh, there's nothing I could do, it was just so many shots, there he dies. Um, the only throat finally got uh, Mullard. Uh, the Power Claw went first with four attacks, three hits. Uh, two wounded and but the Zonotrope saved both of them with his 3 plus Invern 20 attacks later from the rest of the boys uh, maybe a bit more just rolled 20 dice uh, he finally died and they consolidated 3 inches towards this way so yeah Orcs have lost this but uh, going to see what else we can go and kill and try and get the Tyranny Prime who is sitting on the edge of the crater back there so we're back at the end of Orc turn three. Uh, okay, end of Orky turn three. Um, the boys moved to there. They shot uh, at the time 25 sluggers at the Warriors since they were closer. Uh, four wounded in the end. No arm saves, but all arm saves passed rather. Uh, tried to multi charge to try and get rid of both squads or at least tie them up. Uh, fluffed. I got a five, which I think probably would have got them into range anyway, but I didn't want to take the chance, and I re-rolled, uh, but, but here we go, and I got snake eyes, so that's what happens when you gamble. So the teams are going to sit there and laugh at me, is pretty much what's happening, and so are you guys. So on to Tyranid's turn four. Okay, end of... Was it Tyranid 4? It was Tyranid turn 4, wasn't it? Yep. Okay, end of Tyranid turn 4. And uh, fun things happened. The Prime decided to go and get some orc food and killed several. Um, killed four of them. I swung back and took off all but two wounds. These guys ran up here out of the way. Those guys... Uh, Shot a few of these guys, so now there's um, 11, 12 boys left out of 30. So, yeah, Orc turn four will just be shooting with the sluggers and then hacking it to death, and then you're gonna get shot to death by the bugs. So, we'll see how far we can get with that, and we're back in a few. Okay, end of uh, Orky turn four, uh, the warrior. 
volunteer boy that was in there got brutally hacked apart by the uh, boys and moving on to Tyranny Turn 5 uh, the horn, the Hormigons the Termigans decided to start scooting around and claim that objective so yeah couldn't get these guys they were up on top so I basically beat the one out beat the one down and the rest are not in combat anymore so uh, we're going to keep on going and see who's the ultimate victor but uh, right now it's Bruce Lee horrific <laughs> so we're back for end of tier and turn 5 ok guys and that's the end of the game uh, we've packed up and whatnot, but final count was uh, 0 points for the orcs and uh, I think it was about four, five, something like that for the uh, Tyranids. Um, I think you have to be within three inches to claim the objective. If so, then that will push us up to seven or eight points. Uh, can't exactly remember how many points the each objective is for uh, retrieval, but I think it's three. Sounds about right. So with that in mind, it'll be eight points for Tyranids. Uh, if not, it'll be six. So whatever it was, either way, it's a major victory for the Bugs. So it's a Bugs life. Yay. So if you like this game, then please hit like, please hit subscribe. It really just help me out to raise the channel. Uh, your thoughts and comments below, down there, that's sweet. The subscribe box is either there or there, depending on where you're watching it or whatever. Uh, if you too want to get involved in the game, like uh, I did with Storm Boys, we got torn apart. Um, Denny as the war boss, and my good friend and patron uh, Dolph as Captain Gorker for the flash kits. Then uh, sign up to patreon.com forward slash basis gamer, and there's a link in the description below. In there, you'll find all the page levels, which starts off at one US dollar a month, which as of January 28th, 70p in the UK per month, and it ranges up to $15 per month, which goes to, I think, £7 something. Um, you also get access to Fancy League as well for patrons, which uh, so far has been working out well for Space Hulk Ascension. Uh, this game was also the launch of it. Uh, unfortunately, no one got any kills. Uh, the, the Orc Boys did all the work, oddly enough, so uh, patrons don't get any kills. But uh, next game, we'll certainly get some kills. I'll try and make sure of that. So, yeah, thank you very much guys for watching, and I'll see you next time. Cheers.